Hey, Dom. Um, uh, sorry, I haven't handed. I forgot to hand this in last night, so I'm making this right now, right after class. Uh, for the lab ten, uh, I do should probably pull up the requirements for it first. Let's create a title page using Unity UI. We'll start by demonstrating that right here. I have my main menu main main menu scene with each button. Uh, my play button is this join server here. Uh, it does not work yet because uh, I want to make this I want to make this uh, final project a multiplayer server based game. Uh, you can play alone, but I still want to create that server, and then you can join it alone with AI as your teammates and your opponents. Uh, so that's not implemented yet. I can type, uh, my name is Akira. I can choose my team, and then when I hit this button, I'm going to pull it over to the next scene and place a player info script into that, uh, onto that player's onto that team that the player chooses. If the team isn't full, and if the team is... Uh, yeah, I was going to say balanced, but it doesn't really matter too much right now. Help, I just want to go through some controls here uh, so the player understands what this... Uh, the user understands what this is. Options, right now I just have sound, but I don't have sound in the game yet. So this doesn't do anything. Um, another one here that I want to, I might want to add is uh, sensitivity for the mouse because not everyone else's mouse is going to be as sensitive as mine. Just another slider so they can adjust that. Credits just to say uh, this is the game, yada yada. Uh, I did not create the game concept. This is uh, actually from Command and Conquer's Renegade. I am just rebuilding it in Unity and quit button, which exits. Here are the each canvas that I'm running. Uh, just for the background, I have this black canvas with a uh, particle system, which gives it that kind of fanciest thing and fan fanciest dots that kind of float up. Uh, then each canvas, the main main canvas is just this square here with each of the buttons and the title text, and then each of these. Uh, canvases uh, pop up whenever I press the buttons themselves. Let's just make sure everything so options, credits, quit, and start game. Functionality for the start game is not there, and I don't really have any options to adjust right, uh, right just yet, but that's there. We'll pause functionality to the pause menu created in class. I don't have a I don't have the pause menu that we created in class. Uh, and the other problem with that with this project here is that it is based on a multiplayer server, so there is really no pause. Uh, the best I can show you is that uh, right when I open up my shop here, I am pausing the player's movement. I'm suspending their movements, uh, stopping their scripts, and whatnot. Uh, I know if I were to want to pause the game entirely, the method I'd go through with it is when I say I walk up here and uh, I press escape. Let's say escape's the button I use to access this thing. I press escape, uh, pause menu comes up, I can't move, my camera's disabled, my movements are disabled, game is still running in the background though. If I wanted to stop that, I'd set the uh, time scale, time.timescale to zero while the game is paused, and then when I pressed escape again to unpause, or when I press a button here to go back, I'd say, okay, time.timescale uh, goes back up to 1.0. That would be my method of doing it. Uh, that's so I can't. I don't have everything paused. 
just based on the type of game that it is. Uh, I should stop the mouse working. So it does stop the first person controller and goes to the um, menu menu mouse. Stop key presses from affecting the player. That was demonstrated. Uh, I'll let you go in. I'll give you uh, the updated copy of this and you can test it yourself just to just as proof. Uh, an options menu in the game, I do not have that. I cannot say I have that. Because uh, my escape right now, I don't is just bound to exit. I don't have the two linked yet, so hopefully that's partial marks there. Because uh, I don't have the in-game menu, and some of the functionalities for the buttons are not implemented. Uh, and that's everything.